Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this warm, comforting stew. It's really great for cold weather. It's definitely winter here in New York. It's already snowed twice. Um, but yeah, this is super easy and it's really nutritious and delicious and it's very cozy. So here we go. First things first, six cups of chicken broth. This is actually homemade chicken broth that I have, but whatever you guys want to use, homemade or if you want to use a uh, store-bought broth. I always have broths cooking, so this is one that I already had ready to go. Great. So we're going to do six cups of the chicken broth, and I'm putting it into the base of my slow cooker. This is really great if, you know, sometimes I'll um, prep this in the morning, and then when I get home from work, dinner is just ready to go in the slow cooker. So this is, this is about a cup and a half of carrots, sliced carrots. We're gonna add a cup of onion, diced onion. This is about a cup of chickpeas. You can also use cannellini beans, but I had chickpeas that were dried in my pantry, so I just soaked them overnight. And now I'm just gonna toss them into here. Extra protein and fat, really great nutrients for my kiddos. Sage, you can also use rosemary or thyme if you have it. A couple bay leaves. Also, when you use your Parmesan cheese, don't throw out your rinds. The rinds are really great to toss into a, a stew or something like this that's gonna cook for a long period of time. It adds a lot of flavor and richness, so throw that in, no big deal. And then we're just gonna place our chicken on top. You can use bone-in chicken if you want. Um, my local butcher, they had some beautiful chicken breasts, so I just got it boneless. So I'm just gonna lay it on top. And then we're gonna cook this for about six hours. And then after six hours, I'll pull the chicken out, shred it up, and then I'll add in some kale, a little bit of lemon juice, and this is basically ready to go. So let's get this into the base and get it cooking. So cook it on low for about six hours and then we'll take a peek. So this has been cooking for about six hours. The chicken is perfect. I'm just breaking it up and shredding it with two forks. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add about four cups of kale that I already have prepped and ready to go. Yes. And now I'm gonna add half a lemon, just squeeze it in, a little bit of salt, let this cook for another 30 minutes, and this is done. <laughs> should probably check that. So this is finished. So here I have a little bit of basmati rice, and we are going to top the basmati rice with our beautiful stew. Wow, that looks amazing. Okay, great. Now we're gonna top it with some French sea salt and a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. So we got our Parmesan cheese and a little bit of color and heat red pepper chili flakes. Yum. I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when I put up another one and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Yummy.